Hi guys, welcome to another Urban Viking Ale Review. Yeah. I've got some lovely beers to try. Um, um, I'm really, really looking forward to these. Um, basically, I've got myself a bunch of IPAs and some Belgian beers. Um, because I'm, I'm really starting to get into the hops. All the, the really strong hop, hoppy flavours. So, And I've been asking a few of the reviewers around uh, what are the nice ones. And... Um, Rob from um, Hopzine has uh, informed me of a brewery company called Kernel, Kernel or Kernel Brewery, and um, apparently their IPAs are awesome. So this one I'm going to be trying is uh, the Kernel Brewery's IPA Citra IPA at um, uh, 6.5 percent. There you go. Now then, that label is it is really basic looking, but I really like it. Um, strange that. Looks like a bit of cardboard has just been wrapped around it. Okay, uh, bottle conditioned beer, store upright and pour gently if you prefer the, to leave the yeast sediment inside the bottle. Okay, lovely. This one, um, you can keep this one till 2013, so if it's as good as I think it is, then oh, sorry. then um, maybe I'll keep a couple of wire and um, Agent, but um, nah, I'm no good at aging beer because as, as soon as I notice there, my brain's like, drink it, drink it. So, plain silver cap, lovely jubbly. Get the old um, Duchesse de Bog, de Bogogne glass, um, and uh, let's give this a go. Like I say, it's not a very strong um, IPA, six, six and a half, I think it is, so yeah, it's not bad. Okay, let's pour that slightly slowly. Um, make sure I don't get too many of the old. I don't think there's a lot of sediment in that. Sod it, let's get it in there. Why not? Right. Okay, as you can see, it's uh, quite a murky gold colour. Nice little head. Right, let's get a nose on this. Um, I'm glad. To, I'm, I'm really glad I'm trying this one because it's a Citra IPA, and um, obviously Citra's a hop, and it'll give me an idea of um, in future when I drink beer, I can maybe associate some of the um, flavours with the hops. Right, let's get a nose. Oh wow. Oh, oh, it's so it's just. It's so juicy, the smell is so juicy, it's just instantly making my mouth water. It's just pineapple, grapefruit. Um, I'm almost getting like a slight orange in that as well. But the grapefruit, oh man. Okay, cheers, get stuck into this. That's really smooth. Um, I was expecting a more of a more of a punch in the face, but it's, it's not too bad. It's quite mild. Um, you're getting a, a very initial sweet uh, grapefruit on the on the forefront. Um, then uh, you, you're getting some of the softer sort of tasting fruits like the pineapple and uh, like a little touch of lemon as well, which just sort of like um, whirls and whirls around in your tongue afterwards. Um, It's lovely, really nice. Um, in a way, it does remind me a bit of the Odell's, but like um, a slightly more tame version. But um, those, it's a really, really fruity IPA. Um, it's not that bitter, uh, but oh, it's lovely. There's no alcohol presence. Slightly, very slightly carbonated. Ex 
extremely easy to drink. Um, really good. I really like it. Uh, I'm going to give that an 8 out of 10. <clears throat> so I can't believe that. Is that just one hop, is it? Then the citra hop. I'm assuming it is. So many flavours just from one hop. Um, if you want to check these guys out, they've got a website. It's www.thekernelbrewery.com. Uh, they're based in London. SE1. Uh, Druid Street. I know that. I used to live right near there. Lovely. So, yeah, the Colonel Brewery. I'm actually in London on the 28th, so I might pop. I might even pop down and stick my head in and maybe grab a few more beers. If they're all as good as this. Blimey. Oh, good stuff. Good, good stuff. And because it's so fruity, it just it lingers and it just builds up in your mouth and you know all the saliva and that is just like Whoa! it's really refreshing as well it's got quite a dry finish which makes you want to go back again straight away um, yeah really good stuff I've got a couple more of those to review I think I'll do them tonight and um, well actually no no I'm going to spread them out a bit because I don't want to do an IPA after an IPA because you know you just get used to, you get used to it too quickly I think anyway cheers guys Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon on an Urban Viking Ale review. Cheers! Nom nom nom. Mm.